it's what we should do. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The delegate from Norfolk, Delegate Jones. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Speaking to the bill. Delegate Jones, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Members of the House, uh, I've listened to Delegate Poindexter, and I uh, appreciate his words, but I've got to tell him I think he might uh, misunderstand this bill a little bit. First, this bill is about local control. I think we have all seen the news stories over the last couple of years. Uh, we are certainly Charlottesville uh, weighs heavy on all of our minds and our hearts. Uh, but I think this is more about the symbols and the vestiges of what these memorials mean. And I think there have been many of us who have risen on this floor over the last several decades to talk about the pain, the hurt, the scars that are associated with those memorials. I have long struggled to figure out why. In Virginia, of all places, the birthplace of democracy, we seek to honor people who wanted to leave this union, who wanted to dissociate themselves from the United States of America. And you're taken back to a period in the 1860s in which people who looked like me and many other folks in this body were not treated as equal people under the law. And you'll also note that these monuments were erected in the 20th century, years and years after the war was over. And you know that this was done in the throes of Jim Crow to intimidate, to tell people where we stood in this country, which was still less than. And each day we're trying to figure out ways to make our society more equitable and just. And I've got to say, uh, there is a, a Johnny Reb statue right in the middle of downtown Norfolk. And every time I drive past it, which is every day to get to my law office, my heart breaks a little bit. And all we're asking in this bill is to let the localities decide what to do, how to honor their history. I'm not coming to Franklin. I'm not telling you guys what to do with your statues over there. But I can tell you that there are overwhelming amount of people in the city of Norfolk would like to see us take that statue down, move it to Elmwood Cemetery just a few miles away, and put a, a, a plaque right next to it. And I don't think that you should want to stop us from doing that. And taking that statue and moving it somewhere else is not going to somehow uh, dishonor the folks who served in the Civil War. I appreciate every single veteran who served their country, but I've got to tell you, I cannot find other countries across this globe who honor insurgents the way that we do. And frankly, it disgusts me. And I'm the, th the, the descendant of slaves, I'm the descendant of civil rights movement uh, people who were involved in the civil rights movement, and you know, it's, it, it would do a disservice to them for me not to stand up and tell you guys this is about local control. This is about the sign and the signals that you send to people across this commonwealth who don't, uh, who don't have memories that are associated with the Civil War the rest of you do. I would encourage engrossment of this bill. I thank Delegate McQuinn for her work on this. Shall the bill be engrossed and passed on to its third reading? All those in favor, say aye. aye. All those opposed, the bill is engrossed and passed on.